What's up guys? We are still down here at Sardis. Now in the other video, we were fishing uh, pole timber in more shallow water. This time I'm gonna start out on a little bit deeper flat and work my way into the pole timber and see which way it is that is holding more fish in these conditions with the water temp up close to 80, uh, wind starting to blow, bluebird skies, sun's good and hot, all that good stuff. Let's decide which way is better and which way is going to catch more fish. I'm going to show you right here on my map where it is I'm starting and why. All right, guys, right here is where that we're setting. This is down at, this is the dam right here. That's my track of where I've been running out through there. And I want to go up here. Okay, right there. That red right there, it lets me know that it's going shallow and there's some sort of hazard right there. So let's check that out. Right there, that's where we're going to. You can see where that I had side scanned across it once before to see here's the deeper flooded timber just on the outside of this point right here going into what I can only assume to be a lot of really thick flooded timber in here. You got the drop off, you got the deep channel coming in. This is a creek coming in, so it's a feeder creek right through there i'm gonna start before i get to the timber and work my way into it and see what this point right here is all about so there's my game plan that's how i'm gonna start let's see what happens if you have not hit that like subscribe let's go fishing deeper water may just pay off here. Shoo, nice fish. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Come over here, baby doll. Come over here and come see me. Come over here and come see me. This fish wasn't even on the screen. I was going after one that was a little bit smaller. And then this fish here just came up off of the bottom. He just came up off the bottom out of nowhere. Today, I started out here on this big deep water flat. And that's where I caught that great big uh, black crappie out there a minute ago, just uh, roaming in open water. The one key was there was a lot of uh, small standing timber just randomly out on that flat. It was swimming in between the standing timber, and we caught it while he was uh, just hanging out in open water going between the two. Now I'm working more towards this creek channel that's coming in on the south bank, coming out in there. And I just came across the point, found some timber. We're going to fish it and see what happens. Right there's a fish see that on the side of that stump i just want to show you all what it is i'm looking at as i'm coming through here that mark right there is just too big i want to be able to show you the type of mark that i'm looking for and what you should be looking for as well these smaller trees those are the ones that right there there's a fish down at the bottom those are the ones you need to pay attention to because those are the ones that the crappie tend to get on the most. And right there is a pretty good one. This right here is a two foot increment. That fish is throwing about a 14 to 15 inch mark. Let's see if we can't catch him. He's seen it that time. Oh, my drag is way, way, way too light. Oh, come on, baby. Be good to me. Will this mini heave him? It will. Just a 13 inch fish here. 
that Ozark Mini. I love catching them on these little bitty rods. Yeah, just a little, that same rod I use for bluegill fishing. We out here catching big old crappie with it. Come on, baby. Oh yeah. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Love it. Oh, jumping like a small mouth. Jumping like a small mouth. Just roaming in between us timber. That's all, uh, that fish was sitting perfectly still. It was one of those lonely floaters that you see uh, just sitting still in open water. And as soon as it saw that bait, man, it just train wrecked it. Got it. And something done got a hold to that feller. Yeah, some bigger fish done went and took him a bite out of that one. Oh, get me off. Caught that first one that I was just showing you on my cell phone footage. When I got up there, there was another one swam in and sat on a stump right beside it. Let's see if there's any more right here that we can snag out of there real quick. That is all I see that I can get to right here. I'm gonna reposition the boat and look from a, a different angle back in those same trees and see if there might possibly be another one hiding because I didn't see that second fish until the boat spun around to where I could look all the way around the tree. All these little trees, that's what I like to target. And that's why that I switched from the long rod down to the Ozark Mini. And so I can flip up in there without getting my boat all tangled up, messing up my wrap, tearing, tearing it, just tearing up your boat. So that's why I switched the little rod to start flipping at them. Come on, baby. <laughs> Pope flipping it with his little bitty old bluegill rod. I'm telling you what. That dude right there is legit. I like it so far. I actually think it's meant for all purpose uh, crappie rod, but it's light enough action that I like it for bluegilling too. Oh, I seen you hiding in there. Where'd you go? There you are, cutie pie. Oh, that's a pretty good fish. Be good to me, baby. Be good to me. Here you go. Come on, game on, baby. Game on. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I messed around and fooled me one. There is an awful lot going on on that tree right there, so I'm investigating a little bit. And it looks to me that I can see a crappie right there under that. I don't know what type of fish that is, but it's something that doesn't threaten a crappie, so I'm assuming it's probably a carp. You can see the tail on the back end of it. And uh, I think I'm going to pitch in there and see if I can't catch that crappie. Oh wow, 
Now what have I got here? Oh wow, big old blackie. Oh, get off of there. Don't you break my rod, we are rowing you. Big old black crappie. And I mean a good one. Yeah, there was a lot going on on that stump. So I had to just get in there and investigate. Giant, giant black crappie. He was just underneath that ball of everything in there. And I had to get in there and just make sure that it's what I was seeing was correct. And uh, that time I was right. I'm not always right, but that time I was. Oh, yeah, I got him. Oh, I got him. Got him. Open water. That one was uh, floating up towards the top. And usually when they get to the top of the water column, it's because they're up there ready to eat. Very nice fish. Your, uh, your fish that are higher in the water column, they are your higher percentage fish. Those are the ones, they've moved up because they're ready to eat. So those are the fish that you want to target over the ones that are on the bottom. As long as the one on the bottom isn't just an absolute stud that you just cannot live with yourself if you don't get in there and try to catch. Um, right now, today, I'm not even really messing with the ones that are down real deep here because they're just not wanting anything to do with it and I'm getting tired of chasing them, so I'm catching ones that are up that are uh, active and willing to bite. Mm. Oh, that's a magnolia. Yes, sir. That's a magnolia. That's the first magnolia I've caught down here. Got the black stripe down top of his head. It even goes through to the bottom of his mouth there. They call them magnolias because those fish are uh, started in a lab for stocking these lakes down here. And I believe I may have just found a bunch of them. black crappie 14 foot of water 77 degrees so it's about three degrees less than where I was out there catching those white crappie at yesterday I don't know if that's got anything to do with it or not but they are definitely and that one's not a magnolia they're right on any stumps I'd say it's the uh, the difference in the water temperature is the reason I'm finding black crappie here and yesterday I was finding white crappie in a little bit deeper water, a little bit hotter water temp. Calm yourself. good 13 inch crop here so better look at him out in open water just out in open water in between these two sets of uh, standing timber that fish air was just sitting out here in open water I'm only assuming it was going between the two sets of timber it just decided it wanted to come over here and we caught it somewhere in the middle and uh, now I got my eyes on a couple more right here. I'm 
this deal just out here. I'm just now starting into the next set of stumps. Most of the aggressive fish that I've been able to find for the last little bit have not really been in the stumps. They've been out here in the middle, moving from one set of stumps to the next. And that's also where they're gonna get the least amount of pressure at. So I think we may be onto something there, staying off the stumps and uh, looking around here in open water. And it's a whole lot hot, hotter now than what it was when I first started as well. So the fish are starting to push a little bit deeper to get away from the sunlight. So I am now currently changing up just a little bit. I was only going after the higher in the water column. So these are down a little bit deeper. They're about three quarters way down in the water column. But for the conditions, the clear water, the sun, that is high in the water column for the crappie. As the day goes on, as the day progresses, you have to adapt, adjust, and overcome. Come here, baby. <laughs> Two days same bait and that was after a day of guiding on real foot that's tore up i've had to rehook it a few times there ain't a whole lot left of it we're gonna mail fish there ain't a whole lot left of it you can see the old holes and the cracking and ripping in there but i just slide the hook back through a spot that ain't got no rips in it i go back to fishing I believe i found us another target right there guys they are 22 foot out, 22 to 24. They're about eight foot deep, so they are riding kind of high, about halfway down. Let's get in there and see if we can't catch them. Well, we were able to get one of them off there. I think, yeah, it looks like one of the other ones stayed. We're going to get right back in there and see if we can't get one of the other ones as well. Oh, that's a nice one. I love hearing, oh, that's a real nice one. Love hearing that old drag rip out. There's two of the three off of this stump. The key to this is keeping that bait up high enough over them. Oh, man, what a tank. Put the mouse on it, dude. I mean, that right there is just a stud of a fish. And if y'all need to, rewind the video and you'll be able to see what a fish this size, what a 15 inch fish looks like on live scope. This right here was the bottom one on that front stump. And if I can get this doggone hook out of there, I'm going back after that third one. Because when this one came out, I saw that that third one was still there. Man, them Guthrie Tackle jig heads. We sell them on OTHfishing.com. They go through their forehead, that's for sure. One thing about these fish, it's hot. And they have got a really good slime coat on them. That just lets me know that they're healthy. Now, you, oh yeah, he's still there. You might be wondering how I know that I'm still on the same stump. I haven't let it get off screen and there's a stump above the water right here by the trolling motor I've been using as a point of reference. The bottom fish is still in there, but I gotta get on the other side of this stump that I was using to mark my spot so I can see it. And then I'm gonna go right back in there and try to take care of that third one. I think it's him right there. Okay, there he is, there he is. There's something right there in my way that's keeping me from being able to see my bait. I think it's another stump.
third one ain't acting like he's gonna have nothing to do with it. But he ain't run yet. And if he ain't run, I ain't done aggravating him. Oh yeah, all three of them. All three of them. Woo! Momentum coming up, and that's when you flip. Alright, we had two males and a female on that stump. That black tail, that really black tail, that makes me think that that is a male. We were able to catch all three of them by doing one simple little trick, and that's just not dropping down in the middle of them and letting that bait come over the top of them and keeping it up over the top of them the entire time and making them come up to the bait and that kept from spooking the bottom two fish so we started top worked our way down all the way through there well guys i'm hot i'm about done my arm's hurting we've been catching a lot of fish last few days so if you have not please subscribe hit that like button and we're gonna be coming back at you real soon actually just about every week on wednesday at six we're gonna be dropping a brand new video so make sure you hit that subscribe button that way you get notified we'll see you next time guys